Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, triangle ABC inscribed in a circle with the center O. And moreover, this CD is our tangent line. And these angles, 42 degrees and 116 degrees have been given to us. And now we are going to calculate angle X, angle Y, and angle Z. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's recall the central angle theorem. The angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. As you can see in our case, angle at the center is 116 degrees. So this angle at the circumference is going to be half of that one. So that is going to be 58 degrees. So therefore our this angle ACB turns out to be 58 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle AOB. And we can see that this is an isosceles triangle since uh, this side equal to this side. And these are both are the radii of the circle. And since this is an isosceles triangle, so this angle has got to be equal to this angle. And we know that the sum of the angles in any triangle is 180 degrees. This is 116 degrees. So this angle has got to be 32 degrees. And this angle is 32 degrees as well. So therefore, these angles OAB and this angle OBA are 32 degrees each. And now let's focus on this angle BAC. This is the sum of these two individual angles, 32 plus 42. That is going to become 74 degrees. And now let's recall alternate segment theorem. As you can see in this diagram, this whole angle is going to be equal to this angle. We know that this angle is 74 degrees. So this angle has got to be 74 degrees as well. And now let's focus on this triangle ABC. And now let's recall triangle sum theorem. The sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always equal to 180 degrees. So that means sum of these three angles, this angle, this whole angle, and this whole angle must be equal to 180 degrees. We know that this angle is 74 degrees. Let me write down 74 degrees plus this angle, which is 58 degrees. And then plus these two angles, 32 degrees plus angle x equal to 180 degrees. Let's combine the like terms on the left hand side. If we add these angles, that's going to be 164 degrees plus angle x equal to 180 degrees. Now let's go ahead and subtract 164 degrees from both sides. This is gone. So therefore, our this angle x turns out to be 16 degrees. So therefore our this angle x turns out to be 16 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's recall the straight angle property from this whole angle is going to be 180 degrees. And that is going to be equal to the sum of these three individual angles Z plus 58 degrees plus 74 degrees. So therefore, let me write down angle Z plus 58 degrees plus 74 degrees equal to 180 degrees. Now let's go ahead and combine the like terms. So Z plus 132 degrees equal to 180 degrees. Let's go ahead and subtract 132 degrees from both sides. This is gone. So our angle Z 
turns out to be 48 degrees so therefore our this angle z turns out to be 48 degrees and now let's focus on this big triangle ADC now let's recall this triangle sum theorem once again that means the sum of all these three interior angles must be equal to 180 degrees let me go ahead and add these angles up this is 42 degrees let me write down 42 degrees plus 58 degrees plus this 74 degrees as well and then plus this angle y equals to 180 degrees let's go ahead and combine the like terms so if we add them that's going to give us 174 degrees plus angle y equal to 180 degrees now let's go ahead and subtract 174 degrees from both sides this is gone so our angle y turns out to be 6 degrees so therefore our this angle y turns out to be 6 degrees and here's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye